describe my dream career. Mm -hmm. Have you ever lied to anyone to make them feel good about themselves? I know everything about our kids, but I pretend like I don't, so they don't think I have a clue. Wait, what do you not know about? Okay, so we got this game and it's called Sugar Face Card Game. And it's got three different genres or whatever. So the first one is Bliss and it's just like, learn about family, friends, bliss, hopes, and dreams. Or the other one is Challenge where you like, let me give you an example. So Challenge would be like, make a farm animal noise every time a specialty card is played. We're not gonna play the cards. We are gonna do this game with you and we're either going to do the answer the freaking questions or the bliss cards so you can learn more about us. Either way, I think you'd kind of learn more about us. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? I'm gonna do the bliss questions. Bliss questions? Bliss, yes. Bliss, bliss? Okay, yeah. we're and gonna do bliss. I've actually already found these and it, it's super fun. Is it? Okay, so they've already played it. So I will look up where you can get this game. Somebody sent this to us. So I'll look it up and then I will link Only it. If it's fun. I have a feeling it's gonna be fun. Well, Boston said it was fun. So that's why we're playing it tonight. Okay, so here we go. What's your favorite meal and favorite activity? Like favorite food or like time of day meal, like breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I think it's up to you. Okay, my favorite meal, I love breakfast. I think breakfast foods are always the best. And my favorite activity, shopping meal. It's whatever you want to do. I like to shop. That's my favorite. Okay, broccoli. Uh, what's the funniest thing a family member or a friend um, ever said or well, for, for me, it's not the funniest. Boston, basically, we, Halloween night, um, we saw like this uh, neighbor that was giving out like con candy or something. So Boston goes, slams um, on the brakes. And Brock's holding on to the back the of the golf, golf cart. cart. I'm behind the golf cart when he's going around. On the skateboard. And he just goes and just floors it. And I'm just behind there about to be ran over. So my skateboard goes underneath the tire. And then, yeah, so that's why I have a huge like little spot on my skateboard. Did it break it? No, it just like kind of like. Just ruined it. Yeah, just like dismounted. Yeah, Brock just was super mad at me, and then I'm just like driving like super carefully. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, describe your dream vacation. Uh, I have that already. Uh, describe your dream vacation. Bora that is going to Bora Bora, Four Seasons, staying in the overwater bungalow, and We're going swimming. Okay, so that's like Boston. You always stick with that, and that's where I would want to go. Yeah, and. Like they're, they're not about, about going, but I'm like really It's like ten thousand dollars a person. Yeah, but so long. It's worth it. It's my dream. I have it in my like dream. Mine just doesn't grow on trees. Hand me one. Describe my dream career. Mm -hmm. I would probably invent a zipper bedding company and become the CEO. Wait, that's your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, I just want a YouTube forever. Just in half. Is this I your would, dream job? Yeah, and I would want to turn our house into the hype house. Yeah. Everything we about it. the Fantasy like Factory hype house, this whole house would be like basketball hoop, rock climbing wall, Ball pit, swing, elevator. zip line. The backyard would have like Lazy River. Lazy River for sure, but then we'd also have like a dirt bike track and a skateboarding half pipe. That'd be my dream. If you had a billion dollars, what would you do with it? A billion dollars? I literally don't even know. Well, you could take Boston on his dream vacation. <laughs> and you could buy my hype house. Just buy everyone their dreams. Really? What would you do? I don't know. You really don't have an idea? No, I like it. I have like a whole list in there. You know what, Ben? <laughs> that should have just said, what would you do with $100? Yeah. Oh my what gosh. What would you do with $100? Buy more clothes from the closet. There you go. A billion dollars, she's gonna buy clothes. Imagine it's the end of the world and you come face to face with the almighty creator. What would he say to you? Stop on the other. <laughs> he would say, nice try. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Put your shoulder to the wheel, push along. Describe a moment when you were really scared. What did you do? Every day. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not scared of no, he's our least scared kid. He is, he's the least scared. But what? No, I scared him so hard. <laughs> I thought that um, we had a burglar to come to our house, our old house, and I, I, I saw him in the window. <laughs> and so I was super scared. The police so my sister, came. We ran over to our cousin's house, she called the cops, and yeah. They are all hysterical. Mm -hmm. 12 cops come to, and they wouldn't let me in the house. I was like They're a half mile away. Mom. They had to go clear through the house to make sure that the intruder wasn't in there. Then the cops 
ask, and this is Brock also, he saw it in the window when he was outside. And he and saw that he had black jeans <laughs> and black shoes. And, and okay. that you couldn't, that you like there's, there's no way, no like, no way. way. So, so, when police, uh, uh, so when the police, so when the police were asking, and then, gray <laughs> yeah, I know. So when the black police hair. were asking, they're like, what did he look like? And Brock's describing it. And then he goes and describes the pants and everything. And then the cop kind of looks at me and I'm like, I knew like Brock was making it up. And then, so then, let's keep in mind, I watched the Ninja movie a couple of times before, <laughs> where the burglars had a great sweet. Classic movie. Yeah. Okay, so then, um, as we're leaving to go somewhere later on that day, I was like buckling the kids and Brock's like, mom, it maybe was my imagination. So like the whole neighborhood sees 12 cop cars. They thought someone drowned or died because it was such chaos in the house. It was super weird. Like so many cop cars. Yes. How old were they? Six, I think they're six. And where was their mother? I was literally on the road coming home. I was like half a mile away. Where was their father? Yep. What do you need most from your family and friends? I don't know. You always just want to hang out with everybody. Yeah, and I always want to like talk to the people. Like I want to have like conversations. Like I'll walk into Brock's room and he's like, get out. Yeah, and I'm like, Brock, I just want to I want to switch rooms with him. I like, I like truly want to switch rooms with him because like he just gives me zero privacy. Whenever he's like coming upstairs, you don't need privacy. My room. <laughs> just no, you just gotta walk. He around. detours and walks through your room <laughs> to get to his room. Yeah, yeah so that's why I have to have that door locked. That is funny. That's why he has shoes underneath his door to help lock it. Yeah. Well, no, it's, it's my door shaking. Uh, it's my window. All right. Well, Boston is our tender heart for sure. <laughs> Your window open? He likes having people around. What are some things you miss the most? Us being baby. I miss... I miss being able to go out and take my wife on a date. We would always... We didn't ever go on yeah, dates. Yeah, we never did. <laughs> I miss... I miss when the kids were really little. I wish I could zap our kids back to when they're like four or five, but only for like a few hours and then bring them back to the boy they are now. Yeah. I imagine that's what heaven's going to be like. It's like, I want Brock and Boston to be four. I want Alyssa to be six and like have their cute age. Mm -hmm. And then when I get annoyed with that age, then I can snap them to another age. Yep. Or snap me to a vacation. Yes. I miss our kids being little the most, I think. I know. Sorry I got emotional right there, okay? What is the first thing that comes to, to mind about the person on your left? This could get interesting. Yeah. It's always working. <laughs> really? <laughs> or just like always having to get out the time. That's a better one. Thanks, Liz. Went from a sad moment to a happy moment. Good job. This is a good one. Imagine you secretly know that the world end, ends in one month. What would you do? I would go on all the vacations, spend all of the money, rack up so much debt, because it's ending. Would you go skydiving? Never. But Why would I, it's like, let me die before my last month. Oh, that's true. No. I'd skydive on that day. I'd skydive on the very last day, on the last hour. I fall to die. Oh, I want to ask Brock this. If you could do one thing without getting caught, what would it be? Uh, drive the car, like, by myself. <laughs> Boston, what would you do? That's literally going to happen in like 20 days. <laughs> Drink Diet Dr. Pepper <laughs> all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, it, I, I kind of feel like our kids are... To end hang out car because I haven't seen them for so long. You guys. I think you guys are missing the point of it. It's like, you could literally do anything. Yeah, I want to be a Oh, that's cute. But I don't think we're thinking big enough. I think we're thinking really small in yeah, this game. Really we need to like expand our minds. Is something that your parents or children have new, no clue that you are aware of? That we don't have a clue about our kids? Yeah. I know everything about our kids, but I pretend like I don't, so they don't think I have a clue. Wait, what do you not know about? I know, I know that you have a Snapchat. I don't have that Snapchat. I have the password to, that you don't know I have the password to. I have the app Snapchat, but I don't, I'm not on it. Well, Brock. I was talking about Brock. I have all of his secret codes. <laughs> Gentry, this one is for you. How would you rate your sex, your looks, oh, and sexiness? Wait, just redo that one, because that sounded like you said something. Okay. Whoa. Oh. 
I'm trying to be humble about this, but I would definitely go with a 10. In a humble way. In a very, very humble, self-deprecating way. I say a 10. A 7.5 for me. What are you really like at school or work? Is it much different from how you are with family? Oh my gosh, it's so true. <laughs> this reminds me. This reminds me of a story when I saw my sister. And I was like, she was looking at me, but the sun was really bright behind me. So I'm like, Janae! It's like your family. You're really nice to everybody else, and then your family, you're just so nice. Off that off camera, you're just so nice and stuff, and then you turn off the um, No, on camera, you're like super nice and stuff, but then when you turn off the camera, you just like toss the yeah. laundry, clean. It's true. Turn off the camera. No, I don't that's actually not true. No, that's not true. That's the only thing you can blame about is crap on the table. Yeah, but he's never just like turn off the camera and then. Ah! Yeah. Never like Maybe that. Maybe I should. You should. Turn it off. No, don't. Okay. Have you ever lied to anyone to make them feel good about themselves? For example, their fashion choice, cooking, singing. Tell us about it. Oh my gosh. Well, so I lie 24 7. I like, no, my friend, she's a terrible singer. <laughs> and so I was just pretending like she's really good. Oh, that's. Sometimes. The, it it becomes like sometimes you should always try to be honest, but there's certain times where it's just. So here's what I. Try. I mean, she's not. I, this is mom, not, mom is good at doing this. This is what I try to do. I can't ever say if you're singing and you're terribly off. I'll try to find something unique about your voice that I could say instead of saying, "Oh, you have a beautiful voice," or I would say, "Oh, you, I like this." Or if instead of like their outfit, maybe I'll compliment them on their hair if I don't like. You know, I try not to. I, to me, I don't think I dare. I don't ever, I won't so lie to you. Faithful. No, I won't lie to you. I'll just try to find something else. He finds the good and everything. Oh, instead of lying to them, then you find something else positive about them. That's a pretty good trait. I have a friend that she's like, I can't tell people if their baby's ugly. I can't, she's like, so I'll just say, what a cute outfit. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> it's a baby. <laughs> oh, what a sweet, what a sweet. We Should thought our, remember how cute we thought the twins were? Yeah, we were like were ugly. ugly. <laughs> and then we look back at the pictures, we're like, wow. I think every parent thinks their kids are just so cute. But, then well, I realized, realized, so cute. but wait, when they were like two, they really were the cutest two year olds, but I didn't know that they were cute at that point. I think Alyssa had them beat it too. No, that's what I think about people's dogs. Like usually they're like, oh my gosh, your dog, like my dog is just so cute, but it's I, actually, you're like, oh, I actually hate most people's dogs. Patsy. Like <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no, no, you, you know what? That's when people, when they said, Mom, you do not find good in everything. Like, the cat looks like every other cat, like the gray, the black, the brown, like just like the same. Oh, color. I actually love those kind of cats. You don't see their personality. No, oh, I say. Can we get back to how much you hate dogs? <laughs> no, I don't hate dogs. Mom, Freddy can hear you. I love Freddy. I'm saying I don't like most people's other, uh, most other people's dogs. Really? So if I ever tell you that I like your dog, I really like your dog. Because most dogs to me are annoying. Let me just explain. These people have no clue that their dog is like jumping up on me or licking me, and I just don't like that <laughs> from other people's dogs. Dog oh, dog loves. And I have to be nice about it. It's and so like, I'm like, Ooh. like, why is your dog jumping on my leg? How long is it? Yeah. Really fast. How long does it take? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we could keep like yeah. the sugar face. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have to go to our other channel to watch the rest of it. Like and subscribe. Boston well, channel, it's my pretend channel that I haven't invented yet. Bye, guys. Subscribe to Boston Mike, though. Ooh, takes a bath. Something takes a bath. Ooh, ooh, takes a bath. Ooh, takes a bath. Ooh, 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 takes a bath. A lizard? Takes a lizard takes a bath. A lizard takes a bath.
What was it? A bluebird takes a bath. A bluebird. Oh, why didn't you say bluebird? A listen. You try it, Dad. It's so easy. What's easy? Take off. Hi. Hold up your hands. <laughs> hold. hold. I know what they hold, hold up your hands. Hold. Hold, hold up your hands. Yeah. Yes. Lolly or the Oh, you're done. No, that's totally not. How do you sound?